all the soldiers drowned, but the boy remained safe. Allahumma kfinihim bima shi'ta. Where are my soldiers? You cannot kill me until you do what I ask you to do. The Lion-Hearted Boy, Part 2 This story is taken from Sahih Muslim. Hey kids, we're back with Part 2 of the story of the Lion-Hearted Boy. Watch this video till the end to get a printable Look Me storybook. If you haven't seen Part 1, click on the link above or in the description below. The king was wild with anger when he heard the blind courtier talking about Allah. He tortured the courtier until he gave away the name of the young boy. The young boy was then brought before the king. Come here, boy. I hear you have become quite advanced in magic. Curing the blind, lepers and all, eh? I do not cure anyone. It is Allah who cures. The king could not bear to hear about Allah. He wanted people to believe that he was God. Who taught you all this? Ow! All right! I'll tell you! Stop! It was the monk! Then... It was the monk's turn to be presented in front of the king. Turn back from this religion of yours. I am your lord. No, never. Allah is my lord. Tear him apart. The king's men cut him into two with a saw. Do you want to meet the same end as the monk? Or accept me as your god. Only Allah is my lord. The courtier chose to die instead of believing in falsehood. The soldiers brought the saw and killed him as well. The king then called the young boy. Do you want to meet the same end as your silly friends? I'm not afraid of you. You are not my lord. Take this boy to a high mountain. If he still refuses to accept me as his god, throw him down from the top. The soldiers did as they were told. They took the boy to the top of a high mountain. The boy asked Allah for help. Allah oh, Allah! Save me from them, however you like. Suddenly, the mountain began to rumble and quake. All the soldiers fell off the mountain, but the boy remained safe. He walked back to the king. How did you get here? Where are all my men? Allah has saved me from them. Soldiers, grab the boy, quick! Take him to the middle of the ocean. If he refuses to accept me as his lord, throw him in. <laughs> He'll make a nice dinner for the fish. The soldiers took the boy to the middle of the dark and deep ocean. The boy prayed to Allah once again. Allahumma kfinihim bima shi'ta. Oh, Allah, save me from them, however you like. Suddenly, giant waves began to rise in the calm sea. The boat rocked and turned over. All the soldiers drowned, but the boy remained safe. He went back to the king. The king was shocked. Where are my soldiers? Allah has saved me from them. You cannot kill me until you do what I ask you to do. And what is that? Tie me to a tree trunk in a plain ground and gather all the people there. Then take an arrow from your quiver and shoot it at me, saying, Bismillah in the name of Allah, the lord of the young boy. Only then will you be able to kill me. 
So, the king did as the boy had told him. The arrow hit the boy's temple, and he died. The people knew that the king had only been able to kill the boy when he said, Bismillah. All of them became believers. We believe in the Lord of this boy. We believe in the Lord of this boy. We believe in the Lord of this boy. Your Majesty, you have made a grave mistake. This is exactly what you did not want to happen. The people believe in Allah now. Then they will meet the same end as the young boy. The king ordered his men to dig deep ditches and light fire in them. He told the people to turn back from the boy's religion, and when they refused, he forced them to jump into these fires. The king thought that he had won, but Allah tells us that it was the believers who won. None of the believers left their religion. They knew that their pain would be for a short while, after which they could enjoy Allah's pleasure and paradise. <laughs> All right, kiddos, time to get your Look Me ebook. Follow the steps in the description and you will get it in no time. Give this story a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel. Until next time.